recall taking physically myself those pictures, no. I don't recall. Would it be normal for Ms. Heard to have makeup on her face before you arrived to do her makeup ahead of an appearance? It would be normal for Amber to have concealer on, a little, a little of that tint there, yes, because it is quite normal for Amber to wash her face. She always likes to wash the face before the makeup with the product that she likes, do a toner, you know, so it wouldn't be abnormal for her to have a little makeup before and then wash her face and start clean. But you don't remember one way or another whether Ms. Heard had a fresh face with toner and moisturizer on before when you arrived on December 16th, 2018, <coughs> correct? No, I do not. I don't recall. Would she usually wash her face and go through that process in front of you? Yes, I mean, in front of me uh, in her bathroom, but, you know, we, we were close, so it wouldn't be abnormal for me to be chit-chatting with her while she cleaned her face and... You know, I don't think specifically in front of me or not in front of me, but yeah, I mean, she would wash her face in the bathroom, which is adjacent to where we get her ready. And I want to be really specific. So based on your best recollection, what injuries did you see on Miss Heard on December 16th, 2015? Amber had a slight Decolor, uh, discoloration on both eyes and on the top of a bridge of the nose and hold on uh, and I do believe the right eye had a little more of a gash right there it was it wasn't that strong it wasn't that swollen but it was definitely some blue and yellow discoloration there mainly on the inner corner and a little more here and then she had on the right on the right lip as I said earlier I'm not sure the exact medical term but it looked like a split lip or like a gash here. Did you ever see Miss Heard's lip bleed um, on December 15th or December 16th? But you have a, you, you remember that it was not bleeding on December 16th when you were applying the makeup, correct? When I was applying the makeup, correct. How about before you were applying the makeup? Do you recall it bleeding? I don't recall. And I think you just described it as either a gash or a split lip. I, I, I don't know what would be the medical term for it. I don't know what kind of injury would have caused this. I'm not a medical expert nor a forensic expert, but uh, it was slightly swollen. And by the way, you can see it in that video. So it's crazy to me, but it was slightly swollen. And there was uh, either a, a gash or a, a, a scab, no, not a scab, but it was swollen with some kind of cut. Do you recall Ms. Heard ever having a cold sore on her lips? No. You said there was slight discoloration under both eyes. Was there swelling under both eyes as well? We'll clarify swelling. Um, maybe very little, but it was mainly discoloration too. I recall mainly uh, discoloration, like a, like a bruise. Maybe there was a little tiny swelling on one of the eye that was a little more a little more injured than the other, but not huge swelling, no. I believe your testimony earlier today was that he lightly headbutted her. Is that correct? I, I wasn't there. I, I don't know if he lightly or not lightly headbutted her. That was, that was your testimony, that it appeared as if she had been, quote, lightly headbutted. Do you remember saying that earlier today? Then maybe yes. I wasn't recorded. It's not my position to say how headbutted she was or anything. And maybe I'm, I'm misquoted. Okay. And did she show you the hair that was missing? She showed us, me and the hairdresser, the hole where the hair was missing on top of the head. And was Miss McMillan there as well? No, Miss Ma uh, Samantha McMillan was n n really never w uh, when we get ready. So it was two separate things. 
and Samantha never really comes up when we get ready now. But just to confirm, these injuries, right, that you saw on Ms. Hurd on December 16th, 2015, you don't know how they were caused, correct? Correct. And so any information you have about how the cause of these injuries came from Ms. Hurd only? From December 16th, correct. Well, any injuries other than Ms. Hurd and her friends, you never witnessed Mr. Depp being violent or abusive towards Ms. Hurd and yes. causing any injuries. Correct. So let's talk about the makeup that you actually used um, to conceal these injuries on her face on December 16th. I believe you testified you used a concealer with a peach undertone. Mm -hmm. Did you have training and experience um, dealing with injuries or covering up bruising on people? Do you have any specific experience or education? Specific experience, I have experience in doing bruises and cover bruises for special effect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, throughout my career, I have created bruises and I also have covered bruises for, you know, with models or real life things, whatever it is. So yeah, I, I have experience in covering some bruises, yes. How about swelling, same question. I mean, it's really, it's a little harder to cover swelling. That would be maybe, you know, un, try to bring the swelling down. Covering, covering it up would be not, really, would be harder. And how about cuts? Yeah. Specifically, as it relates to Ms. Hurd's makeup look on December 16th, do you recall what foundation you used? The brand? You probably don't remember the brand, but do you recall the shade that you used? How would I? No, it's five years ago. Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. Do you recall? No. But you do have a specific recollection of, of using a peach undertone concealer. Yes, and, and I'll tell you why. Because Amber always had in her bag, we have the same concealer. She has a concealer from a brand called Clear de Peau. And it's a specific <laughs> shade. Uh, you know, it's beige. Beige was Amber's color for under her eyes, period. So the day, December 16, I didn't use beige. I use, there's another concealer that has a little more peach in there and orange, it's, uh, it's called Honey from the same family and I use that instead. And I think I also use, I have a wheel that has, is a bruise wheel that has different colors and you pick up the color to s gently touch up any darkness. <coughs> Did you make a different choice for her overall look other than the concealer as a result of the injuries that you saw on her face on December 16th? Not a different choice, but I remember we specifically, you know, as you, I know you read it before, she, we, we had a red lip that was not uncommon for her. We know she has a signature red lip, so it's not suddenly it was, oh my gosh, she has a red lip. But I remember that day we specifically I specifically structure my makeup. There's a couple of things we do with Amber. We do a smoky eye and a nude lip or red lip. And I remember specifically thinking of my makeup about we needed to highlight there to try to not to try to not draw attention there. And the red lip was our only option to cover that red cut that was there. So that I remember very specifically thinking that we had we had to have a red lip, sharp brows, and construct the makeup to take away from here, so basically, I mean, it's not gonna be nothing to you guys, but just basically a lot of highlight up here to kind of not focus on this. I remember talking about it very clearly. And, and forgive my ignorance, but what did you do to cover up the cut on the lip other than apply a red lip? A red lip, okay. A red lip, uh, it, it is swollen. I can see it in a video on the James Corden show. So her lips were swollen, it was big on that side, you can see it. There's nothing I can do about that, but I did, we did a really dark red lip to to match the, that, that red gash or cut, whatever that was there. Do you recall Ms. Hurd being hindered as a result of the injury on her lip? And when I say hindered, I mean, did she have trouble opening her mouth widely or 
you know, did she complain about it hurting or splitting open and bleeding? Do you recall any of that? I don't recall. And again, just to confirm, on December 15th, 2015, you don't recall seeing any injuries, including a slit lip on Amber Heard, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. Do you recall having any specific conversation with the hairstylist that was doing Ms. Heard's hair on December 16th, 2015, mm -hmm. as it related to the abuse that Ms. Heard was describing for you? Yeah, uh, yes. We have we, we talked a bit about it, yes. And what what do you recall about that conversation? I mean, you know, I think everybody was a little like, Whoa, shit, okay. Um I think everybody was a little surprised, everybody was a little like not knowing how to move forward with it. I mean but we talked as I said when Amber was in the chair and Adil was behind her and I was in front of her. I recall the three of us having this conversation and I recall Adia showing me the whole day. But just to confirm, you don't know how that chunk of hair was missing from Ms. Hurd's head. You don't know what caused that chunk of hair to be missing, correct? I don't know it, correct. You don't have any personal knowledge, I should say, as to how that chunk of hair came to be missing from her head. Well, I, never, I, never, I, I did not witness it, correct. Alex, may I please have you bring up DEP 9? Ms. Inglacias, you've testified previously um, that you see, watching the video clip, right, um, you see Ms. Hurd's, you see the swollen lip and you see uh, bruising. Yeah, I see, I, I've, I've known that face. I know that face so well, I've done it so many times. I can tell where the bruises are and I can tell where the swollen lip is, correct. So, Ms. Inglesias, do you mind please identifying for me, is this, um, does this photograph accurately depict <coughs> Ms. Heard on the James Corbin show on December 16th, 2015? Okay. Yes. But can you describe for me where you see bruising on Ms. Heard's face? Well, I didn't, no, I didn't say I saw bruise, but I saw the discoloration. I can see my makeup. So I see the discoloration on the right eye, just right under. I see that little dent there. And also, I mean, this is a, a picture that is, you know, taking, this is not a really accurate picture. She's sideways. The light is one way, you know, but yes, there's other, there's better pictures that you can see, but you give me the uh, the mouth I will show you but there's other still picture when you can see the split lip better or the, the swollen lip so I mean I can see there's better pictures where you can see that side of the lip is swollen this here and when you're you're pointing just to for the record you're pointing to the 